Hey everyone, welcome to today's super easy DIY bralette. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make the easiest bralette ever and it's still going to look amazing. So this is the bralette I'm going to be showing you guys how to make. Um, as I said, it's super easy. All you're going to need is basic sewing skills and you will be fine. If you don't know how to use a sewing machine, um, ask around, you know, chances are your mum, your mum's friend, your grandma, grandpa might know how to, not grandpa, your grandma <laughs> might know how to use it. Maybe your grandpa, you never know. <laughs> but yeah, because surely there's someone who knows how to use it and who could teach you because all you're going to need is literally the most basic sewing skills and look how great it turns out. The thing I love so much about this bralette, it is so cheap to make. It cost me literally under $10 to make and that's why I love it so much. Another thing I want to talk about is with these bralettes there is so many different ways you can style them and I would love to show you guys lots of different ways so if you want that give this video a like and I'll definitely create a video like that for you. And lastly just before we get into it behind me you can see a few different styles and this is just a little bit of a preview for my next video where I'm going to show you guys how you can style knits as it is winter in Australia and I thought this would be a fun video and it will also make sure you stay warm in winter and good of course so let's get into the DIY and I'll see you guys next time with my how to style knits in winter video. okay so what you're going to need is some scissors some thick elastic and some thin elastic half a meter of fabric some lace trim pins and a sewing machine So first of all I'm going to take my pattern and I'm going to use this as a base for my cups. Now I will upload this so you guys can use it if you don't have one. I'm going to measure out just where all four pieces will go because I'm going to need four of them, two for each side and then just cut the excess fabric away so it's easier to work with. So now I'm going to fold this in half and then fold it in half again. This is just going to make cutting out easier so I end up with four in one go without ha having to cut the pattern four times over again. So now I'm going to place the pattern on and pin it down. Um, I need to be careful when pinning it because if you don't pin it um, carefully when you're cutting it you won't get a straight line. Also flipping it over and checking it smooth is a good idea as this will make sure you're not getting any bumps in your fabric. Now we're just going to take the material and cut out the pattern. It's very important to be careful when doing this as you want it to be straight. Also don't forget the little notch because this will help you line up your cups later on. Now that I've got my four cups, I'm going to split them into two as I need two for the left side and two for the right side. This is just showing you roughly what it will look like. So I've grabbed my lace and I'm going to cut out the amount I need for the cups. Another important thing to remember when choosing your lace is that it's stretchy because you want it to be comfortable on the body. So now that I've cut my first piece, I'm going to cut another four for each piece. Okay, so as you can see, the lace has two sides, so you want to be careful when pinning this as you want to make sure you get the right side up. As you can see here I've carefully pinned the line I want to sew and we're just going to do a zigzag stitch from the top to the bottom. Because this is stretchy fabric as you're sewing you might have to stretch the fabric just a little bit gently just to help it ease itself in. Okay so now that we've sewn the lace trims on we're going to match up the notch we created earlier when cutting out the pattern. This is to make sure that our cups are evenly lined and that the line will look straight from the front once it's sewn together. So we're just going to sew from the top of this to the bottom with a straight stitch. Another tip is don't forget to back stitch at the start and the finish so that your threads don't come undone. Now we're just going to carefully snip this back so we can needle off the edge with a zigzag stitch as I'm doing here. This will make sure the fabric doesn't fray and looks much neater. Then you can just trim off the excess lace that is at the bottom. So at this stage your cup should look a little something like this. Now we're going to do a gathering stitch which is putting your machine on the longest stitch possible so we can pull the threads to make the cup gather in nicely to the waistband. It should look something like this. 
So for the band, you're going to need to measure around just under your boobs or wherever you want it to sit. Once you've done that, fold it in half and measure out where the centre is. This is going to be used to place the cups on the band. So now that I've got my centre, I'll carefully place my cups where I want them by putting them in the middle and the end and then making sure my gathers are appropriate for where I want them to sit. This will take a little bit of playing around but keep going until you get it how you want it. Okay, so now we're going to sew a straight stitch all the way along here to secure this. Now this can um, be very hard because of the gathers so just carefully push them down as you're sewing and try not to sew fast over them, this should be done slowly and then trim back the excess. Okay, lastly it's time to measure your shoulders and the length you want your straps to be. Then we're going to pin them to the top of each cup on the inside as we're going to sew this with a straight stitch. Once you've done both sides, it should start to look like this. We're then going to pin the straps to the back of the band and then attach the band together before we do this. So now that I've got the band inside out, make sure you guys have this the right way. If you need, turn it around to make sure it is the right way before you sew it. And sew it with a straight stitch and then a zigzag to make sure it's secure. And then sew in your side straps. And there you have it, your bralette is now finished. You can trim back any loose threads and neaten up any raw edges if you have any. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you liked it and if you did, please give it a thumbs up because that, may, that tells me that you like my DIYs and that you guys want more and I would love to do more DIYs, it's so much fun and I love teaching you guys new stuff. For more videos like this, please subscribe, there's going to be so many more fun videos coming up and as I'm from Australia, my knitwear video is going to be up soon as I was telling you guys. So stay tuned for that. See ya. Thanks for watching.